trying to wake Taylor and David. I'm sure you did, along with the rest of the neighborhood. How long have you been up? Since I dreamt that my sister was screwing my other sister's husband. Ex-husband. Did you dream that too? That's so weird. Did I kill them in yours? No, actually you played it cool. Well, then you really were dreaming because there's no way to play this cool. This is the most uncool thing Taylor's ever done. Morning, kids. Good morning, slut. You can get your things and go now. What's wrong? Are you still mad about me and David? That's so last night. You like that outfit enough to get buried in, or you want to go put something on? Why? It's nothing he hasn't seen before. But if you insist. Come on, are you going to say something? I love you. Oh, hey, I almost forgot we're late for the video game shoot. Better get going. Have a good day, Hales. Love you. Bye, Mom. Who is Kylie? Some chick who took a whore bath in Clay's pool this morning. Oh my God, Quinn, that's awful. Let's just make you want to rip David's head off and punch Taylor right in her fat face. You shouldn't let them get to you. How are they not getting to you? David has a right to be upset with me, and Taylor's always been a bitch, so what do you want me to do? I don't know. Say no when they invite you to dinner. Clay makes me happy, Haley. Why shouldn't David be happy? I mean, I can't imagine that Taylor's the one for him, but if she is, I'll deal with it. Just like that. If they want to throw their relationship in my face, I have to let them know it doesn't bother me, right? No, not right. And let me tell you something. If Nathan and I got divorced and he and Taylor showed up playing kissy face, not only would I never see them again, nobody else would either. So you're saying I should kill them? I mean, it's a little extreme, don't you think? No, you're right. Having dinner with them is so much more sane. See you tonight. Can Chuck come over and play the new game tonight? Yeah, of course. So we're friends again? Yeah, we homies. See? Sometimes friends, they fight, they get mad at each other, but then they make up. Like Mom at Quinn and Taylor? Exactly. They're mad at each other now, but eventually it'll blow over. Hey, what's going on? Well, let's see Taylor try and cook dinner with no pots and pans. <laughs> you and Chuck play upstairs tonight. Hey, Brooke! What's up? Hi. I was just feeling a little lost, so I thought I'd come see the most stable couple I know. makes me sick. Taylor is awful. I thought Alex was a bitch. Yeah, I know, right? And don't worry about Alex. Julian obviously still loves you. Brooke, he stayed in Tree Hill to make his movie. Yeah, well, he made it very clear today that he does not want to see me anymore. He's probably just upset. You guys are way too good together not to make it. Just give it some time. Okay. Fine. Don't worry about this dinner tonight. You know, it's going to be over before you know it. Actually, Nathan's betting we don't make it through dinner. He said he thinks I'm going to attack Taylor before the salad is served. Well, can you blame him? You've been arrested more times than anyone I know, Julie. I hate my name. <laughs> hmm. Let the wild rumpus start. Thanks, Hales. Yeah, it'll be okay. Enjoy your last supper, Judas. Okay, let's get this over with. Can we say grace first? You're religious now? Well, I have been calling out God's name a lot lately. <laughs> Thank you, God, for my wonderful family, for the food that we're about to receive, and for David, his chest, strong arms, home theater. Oh, she does love the home theater. Amen. 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 What was I saying? You said, watch this. So, uh, I think we're all curious. How exactly did you two get together? Glad you asked. It's just another boring day at the gym when who should accidentally walk into my stripper aerobics class? David. Who? Oh, Quinny's got herself a smart one. Yes, David. He was 
so embarrassed to leave, he stayed the entire class. And it was quite a workout. I gave him a private session later that night. And the rest, as they say, is sex. I'm really happy you two found each other. Okay, if nobody else is gonna say it, then I will. Please don't, Haley. Taylor, at any point did it occur to you hooking up with my sister's ex-husband? That might be kind of insensitive and whorish. Funny, no. David, you and Quinn just got divorced. How can you sleep with someone else so soon, especially our sister? Oh, you want to talk about insensitive and whorish? Quinn had sex with this bozo when we were still married. What? Actually, uh... We've never had sex. I just told you that we did. Yes, Nate, I would love another beer. Good idea. Boy, can you clear a room. Now I know who Clay reminds me of. <laughs> Who's that guy that you dated freshman year? Dan Thompson? Whatever happened to him? You told him you'd sleep with him if you broke up with me. So he did. And then you did. That's right, I'm the sister who actually sleeps with the guy. Did they give you a medal for that or just a shot? We have cupcakes for dessert in case anybody wants some. I bought them for Jane, you've got Taylor doesn't seem to have a problem taking other people's stuff. I wish I could be like you, Haley. Just eat whatever I want and get fat. Your lip is about to get fat. All right, that's enough. I can't take this anymore. If anybody needs me, I'll be upstairs with the kids having a more mature conversation. Haley. I'm sorry we were wrong to come here. Thank you. That means a lot, David. Don't apologize. We haven't done anything wrong. You know, maybe David hasn't, but you have been a problem your whole life, Taylor. When Haley got her first period, you tried to convince her that she was dying. You told crazy Uncle Frank that I, that I had a crush on him? Oh, in high school, you had sex in Mom's car and then told her it was me. Well, to be fair, it was with your ex-boyfriend. And now you're sleeping with David. Why are you getting so mad at me about going after Quinn's leftovers? You went after mine. I want you to admit that what you're doing is wrong. No, say you're happy for Taylor, me. Taylor, I'm so sick of this. Taylor, you ever, Taylor, you've such a bitch to everybody your whole life. Haley, Taylor, David, come on, Haley. If Nathan hadn't stopped the fight, I'd have one less Christmas card to send. Oh, no. You mean I wouldn't get another Christmas card of Jamie dressed as an elf? Whatever would I do? You Enough would actually... already. Just stop. Just stop, please. Did you get what you wanted? Are you satisfied now? Nightly. Just promise me you won't hurt David. Like you did. Yeah. He's been through enough. He doesn't need you pretending to like him just to get back at me. Who's pretending I do like him? Fine. Fine. When you sink in like a storm. Fine. Fine. No, no, it's not fine. It's not fine. What is wrong with you two? I'm happy. Quinn's happy. What do you want, Haley? I want you to admit that you're a bitch. That's fair. I'm a bitch. <laughs> 